Hi everybody and <laughs> welcome back to the painting channel. Today is all about a sunrise on the coast where I live in watercolour. So let's roll that intro, let's get straight on and let's see what happens. <laughs> Hi everybody and welcome back. Before I head long into this painting, let me just take a very quick opportunity as I always do to thank each and every one of my uh, subscribers, both new and old. Guys and girls, thank you so much for the support to the channel. It does mean a lot and it tells YouTube that I am worth supporting and promoting. So thank you very much for that. But what I've also noticed that about only half of my viewers, half of those watching my videos are actually subscribed to the channel. So if you are one of those persons that are sitting there and maybe I hope enjoying the content, consider if I can talk you into joining and subscribing to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything to do that. And at the same time, click that bell icon and give it a thumbs up. All of those interactions help tell YouTube that I am a worthy channel and worth promoting and supporting and I would thank you very much for it and at the same time if you've got a friend that you think would really enjoy watching what I do then share the video to them that's fantastic also and at the same time comment if you've got a comment to make if I can help you at all put it in the comment section underneath this video I'll read each and every one and then answer each and every one and if that's not enough and you would like some more every Monday don't forget on the channel there is a live stream from me 7 p.m. that's London time GMT 7 p.m. every Monday without fail I change the topic I change the media each week so tune in for that and I'd love to have you on board and if you feel like it get involved with the chat and say hi and that'll be fantastic and before I finish off there is even one more thing I actually have a growing patron and all the details for that are in the description under each and every one of my videos. Hop on over there if you want a little bit more because there is so much more that I am offering there. Not only full version videos of some of those that you see on YouTube, but independent ones, all fully narrated, all there to help you. I have a private patron only uh, channel on Facebook where all my patrons and myself can interact and I can help you on a much closer or much deeper level. So it's worth taking a look and it doesn't cost you more than a pound, uh, a pound, five pounds, ten pounds, something like that each month. It doesn't cost an awful lot. But the thing is that you get so much more for your money and you get my gratitude because every penny that you put into your patron for me helps me uh, finance all the efforts that I'm going to to create new and improved and more content, more interesting content, lots more films. And I keep doing that each week, each month. So yeah, take a look at it. And if you, you feel like you want to get involved for whatever level, whatever tier level, you'll be so welcome. Be glad to have you on board. And I've said enough, I think. Let's get on with this painting before you all fall asleep. <laughs> but there you go. A lovely sunrise uh, over the bay. Let's get on with it. And I'll catch you at the other end. Okay, so... With this sunrise, I wanted to put in a certain level of horizon and I wanted to tape it off with just one inch tape. That would be the top of the horizon and really the depth of my sea before I hit shore. And I wanted to do that and then wet the entire top. Now I don't normally do this, but I felt this was a great idea on this occasion to put the sky in. The sky is a mix of all three blues. It's got a bit of thalo cyanin and cobalt and then I added some uh, ultramarine blue in there and I added a very slight bit of lemon or aureolin and then I put some Indian lemon and then some transparent orange in, finally some reds. Now those will all blend and bleed down and then I came underneath my tape and repeated some of the reflective colours that I'd already put in. I increased some of the yellows and some of the orange to really intensify. Now I use some uh, clear water, just clear water, to start eating into some of the blue sky. Some of the suggested early morning clouds that are sort of feathering their way out across the sky. 
and then I just marked where my sunrise was going to actually be. But all the time I was using little bits of water to play around with those colours. As they started to dry with each other and blend more, I was eating into them and lifting little bits of pigment off. Now I'm just uh, making sure that none of that water is going to bleed through that tape and come into the foreground at the bottom. But what I did also do was actually put some of that lovely intense orange colour into the foreground and then I come in with a mix of violets which was indigo and Indian red and magenta just to give me that lovely early feeling of the uh, area of what will be some clouds in the low horizon further on. I'm just dabbing off where that sun is going to be and trying to make sure that none of the paint ingresses into that area. For now I'm putting in some vermilion, some lovely lovely red colours, a little bit of that violet to start suggesting the other cloud forms that are working their way into the morning light. Now these are very much, they're going to change and they're almost at the behest of changing colour because of all the colours underneath them. I actually did a little bit more red and I used a little bit of a spray bottle just to release some of those so that they cascade down to the base of the picture. Making sure of course that I didn't allow any to roll over uh, the tape that was in the middle. Reinforce that little bit of sun again because it has got a little bit um, away with it and some of the colour was bleeding into the area. So I wanted to you know, try and keep that. I used a bit of red now and just used hor horizontal lines to suggest the water ripples in the foreground across the wet sand. I then used a very similar technique and took out some pigment where the um, sun was um, reflecting in that sand. It's now dry. I took a, uh, a hairdryer to it and dried it all off. Now I've come in with a bit of uh, blue and violet colours to come in over that uh, original red colour and put in my uh, clouds that are forming. Now you can see that because of the influence of the red underneath, of course, it's going to change from that lovely blue to a sense of red which is fantastic because what's happening is that it's a glaze over that red and it's picking up the red and that's really what I wanted it to do. I didn't want it to be an absolute blue colour so it worked perfectly. I'm doing the same thing now with the foreshore and suggesting some of the ripples, some of the dark lines that are reflecting that base cloud underneath the sun and I'm using horizontal horizontal, sorry, strokes to suggest that as I work through. I'm going to change the colour to a little bit more of a red warmer colour for the same sort of thing but roughly where the sun is going through it just warms up. Those become less uh, cool and more warm stripes but you are getting a sense that the water is sort of rippling away, ebbing away towards the tide line as I go and move further into this picture. The larger areas on the left hand side and the bit that I'm putting in now are initial areas that will be where the sand is a little higher and it's more exposed and it's still wet, still damp but it is like a little island within all that very shallow water ebbing its way back to the sea. And I think you can already get a sense, the beautiful sense of how the um, sunrise is really taking shape. I love it. I'm just warming, uh, taking all this, uh, making it all dry because I wanted to take that tape off and uh, I couldn't do that unless the paper was absolutely dry. Now I'm using some indigo, some blues and some alizarin to start suggesting the sea. I'm being very, very careful not to make uh, a, a, an error on the horizon line. I really wanted to be very very careful that I didn't just make a whole uh, mess of that part and I put some warm paint in where the sun's coming through. I also deliberately left a lot of white spaces. I wanted to suggest the white water on the waves as they're coming in very gently to the shore and I did that all the way through the front almost touching the uh, area right there and then I put some really bright oranges, bright yellows in there just to really excite at that point where the sun is beaming down and glistening across the wet sand. 
and all the time I'm just moving towards the finish of the C I'm going to start putting in a few darker marks that suggest individual um, areas where the, the, the waves are rolling over jumping over each other and you start getting those little shadow areas as the uh, tide is coming in and the waves are forming further out and rolling forward and then they gently hit the shore and it's not a rough day it's a really subtly smooth day and it was just a privilege to be there on the occasion that it did. I also put in some darker reds right there right in the middle there where the sun is most intense and I'm using little lines with a rigger now just to see you know when the waves gently push forward and you get little waves that push forward and then they roll back under the one that's coming well that's suggested right there and it actually helps break up that line on the foreshore now I'm putting very much darker areas in that suggest a bit darker a bit more moody and that intensifies all those rich warm lights of the sun the sunrise and all that reflection and it's great to have them there because they are very very divisive and they work and with that the painting is pretty much done uh, i've had a lot of fun doing it i gotta say but it's time to sign it and bid you farewell okay everybody one watercolor finish one sunrise i had a lot of fun doing it and i hope well i'm pretty sure you got something from it and if you did like i said at the beginning don't forget to subscribe like click the bell icon thumbs up all of that stuff share it to friends and comment they will be fantastic and i look forward to seeing or doing another film for you all very very soon don't forget monday night's live stream as well that'll be fantastic to have your company there in the meantime happy painting stay safe everybody i'll catch you all very very soon take care bye bye